Hello everyone, great to be with you today uh, as we carry on our short thought series in Philippians. And I just want to ask you uh, a question first off. Uh, what comes into your mind when I say the word kneel? Kneel. And uh, I ask this because uh, there have been many, many people kneeling around the world right now off the back of the uh, Black Lives Matter movement that's going on. You know, many people are kneeling uh, as an act of solidarity to uh, get alongside uh, their uh, friends and family and, and, and people of colour. You know, maybe that's why people are kneeling. You know, some people are kneeling out of protest against white supremacy and the state or some other institution uh, of power. But rarely do people kneel because actually they admit that they've suffered a defeat. They admit that they lost and they surrender everything. It's just to surrender is completely against our very human nature. It, it, it goes against everything we, we stand for as people and what we do. We're, we're strong, aren't we? We don't, we don't surrender. We don't, we don't give up. We don't lay down anything. But you know what? That's our God. And that's what Jesus did. And that's what we've been reading about in Philippians, how... Jesus himself, he, he humbled himself to death, even death on a cross. And in that respect, Jesus suffered the most humiliating defeat in all of history. He suffered a defeat to, to Satan, to sin, to death, and he laid dead in the grave. But praise God, we know that that is not the end of the story. Actually, God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, raised Jesus to new life. And he rose again and ascended to heaven. And now this is what it says in Philippians 2, 9-11. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that the, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. You know, folks, we're going to come to a point in history where every single knee is going to bow before Jesus in surrender to him. And that means we are going to be humbling ourselves, laying ourselves down before him. And the good news is if you actually make that decision to not just do that then at that moment at the end of time, but actually to do that now, Actually, the Bible promises that we too will be raised with Christ. We too will, will, be, will be exalted. We'll be made kings and queens in the new creation and we will reign with Christ. We'll be co-heirs with him. What an amazing promise that is. But folks, what that means is to actually kneel now. To, I guess, suffer that defeat and to put to death that old way of living. And surrender afresh each and every day to the rule and reign of Jesus. Folks, we need to bow the knee before Jesus. And you know what? That can look really humili humiliating. You know, just recently I've been giving out some of my bags of hope you know, uh, with, with Tony as well. And I went to a work colleague's house uh, yesterday and managed to, I, I sat down with them and chatted with the, with the family and uh, talked about the, the, the tribe praying booklet with them and you know, to for me to be vulnerable like that and, and, and share my faith and, you know, that I, I believe in a God and that he talks to me, it's sounds a bit like kiddish, doesn't it? A bit weird to our to our culture and you kind of feel a bit a bit stupid. You know, we, we did this with Tony's uh, work colleague as well, when in fact her boss, we gave a bag to hope a bag of hope to her and, and another friend as well and I can sometimes just feel really humiliated and humbled, can't we, when we're explaining a a faith that's almost feels so childish at times. But folks, that's what we're called to do in submitting to Jesus, in taking a knee to him, in bowing the knee each and every day. But folks, we have that promise, don't we? That one day we'll be raised with Christ and seated with him and share in his glory, which is absolutely amazing. One day, every knee is going to bow. And that also means that those who in this life right now are unwilling 
to bow the knee before Jesus will ultimately have to declare him Lord and Saviour over all. They will be left with no other alternative. And you know, that, that gives me comfort. You know, as I go and share bags of hope, as I go and share my faith, I know that willingly or unwillingly, every single person is going to have to bow the knee before the risen Jesus as he reigns in glory in heaven. You know, I want to encourage you, church, if you're listening to this and you have bags of hope waiting to give away, you have invitations to our Alpha course that you're, you've got holding on to, you know, I want to encourage you to share those and give your friends, family, neighbours and colleagues the opportunity to bow the knee before Jesus in this life so that one day they can be raised with him. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you are the God who humbled yourself to death. But Jesus, that you were raised to new life. I thank you, Jesus, that you are victorious overall and that one day every single knee will bow before you. Jesus, help us to bow the knee before you each and every day as we live out our lives. And we pray, Lord, that we would make your name known. Amen.